Hi, I'm Alan Eaton and welcome to my kitchen. Oh, uh -huh. and uh, today I'm going to be making another request. Uh, it was requested that I make goulash. And before I get started, I should tell you a little bit about goulash. Goulash is made however you want to make it. There are a lot of recipes out there for it. So there are a lot of people that make it. And for every person that makes it, there's probably a new recipe. I'm going to make it about the way my mama made it. I mean, it's not going to be exact because I don't have the exact ingredients. And that's because my mama made her goulash with what she had on hand at the time. If she had hamburger meat, she used hamburger meat. If she had chicken, she used chicken. If she had uh, canned commodity pork, she used canned commodities pork. Um, and if you don't have that, you can use uh, shredded pork roast. I mean, basically, you can use any kind of meat in your goulash that you want to use. Look at your refrigerator with the stuff in it like a buffet bar and just go through there and add stuff you think go good together and here we go. That's it. And that's what, you know, the main ingredient for me for the that made it goulash was elbow noodles, the macaroni. Every goulash I've ever had has always had macaroni noodles in it. So, that's... My main ingredient for that is the one thing that's never going to change is I put elbow macaroni in mine. But here in my stir, I'll show you, I have some hamburger meat. And it's probably about a half a pound or so. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that on and let it start cooking. I've got it on medium and I've got, I'm going to add just a little bit of water to that. And if you're wondering about the water, I use that to disperse the grease. And once the meat is cooked, I will pour that grease and water mixture off. And then add my other ingredients. It helps with that grease because we got systems that don't tolerate grease too well and uh, get just a titch too much. And uh, yeah. well, y'all know what can happen. Yeah. Uh, I am going to, yeah, like I said, I'm going to wait on that right there. Let, it, let that cook for a little bit. I'll put my lid on that and help it cook. Hold up. While that's cooking, I'm going to. Okay, what else I've got here? I've got half of an onion chopped. I'm guessing y'all can see that. <laughs> I've got some beef broth that I'm going to use in it. Now, you don't have to use beef broth, and you don't have to use broth at all. You can use water and just the liquid off of the vegetables, uh, the canned vegetables. But I have this on hand. I don't want it to go bad, so I'm going to use my beef broth. Again, uh, elbow macaroni. I've got a can of mixed vegetables. My mama used a lot of mixed vegetables because we had a lot of mixed vegetables at the house. And I'll be honest, as a kid, I didn't like them. So she had to sneak them in wherever she could. I have a can of green beans. I have a can of carrots. I have a can of diced tomatoes. And a can of cream-style corn. And yes, I did say cream-style corn because that is what my mama used. And it really makes it good. I also have a can of whole potatoes that have been diced by the piggy. And for seasoning, I have some garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. They won't be too many dishes to wash off of this. Not too many. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my hamburger meat cook. And it's already to the point, you know. I, and I'll be honest with you, I put this in there frozen. And it's already to the point that I can cut it up a little bit. We, we'll get it in big packs and then we separate it out and we flatten it out. That way it stores better and then... When you pull it out, you go to defrost it, put it in something. It don't take long to thaw. Right. And, you know, I portion it into sizes that me and Piggy can eat. And uh, that way I don't waste a lot of food. I have it on hand if I need it, usually. I mean, it's not like we eat a bunch of stuff every day. Yeah, usually she cooks something big like this. It, it, it'll take us a few days to go through it. Yeah, this this right here is going to be a couple meals today and probably a couple meals tomorrow. But that's okay because it's a little chilly today. And we can. But it's supposed to be warmer tomorrow. The piggy going to like that. Yeah, well, it being chilly today, I figured this would be a good day for goulash and to get my video out that was requested. Yeah, 
I'm telling you right now, if y'all are already subscribed to my channel, you might want to be. Uh, I just hit uh, my 250 goal for subscribers, and uh, now I'm up to two. Well, it was up to 260 last time I looked, but I'm having a 250 giveaway on May the 14th. And it's a subscribers only giveaway. You have to be a subscriber to be able to participate in chat on this particular live. It'll be Saturday night at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, May 14th. It's going to be a subscriber only giveaway. And we're going to have quite a few prizes to give away. Among which are a couple of aprons that were made for her by Full Blown Country. It looked yep. really good. Yeah, and if y'all want to see what the aprons look like, go to Full Blown Country and look up uh, where he uh, tagged at Aline. Welcome to my kitchen. And at Piggy's, Piggle, Piggy's Piddles, uh, making aprons. And uh, check them out. There's a white apron and there's a black apron. And they'll they, be one of each given away. They each look really good, but I'm kind of partial to that black and I think more people, you know, I, I had everybody vote on the design, and they voted on the design that's on the white apron, so that's the one I had the most made on. But now that the black apron has been made with the design that I like, people are wanting the black apron. That was going to be my limited edition apron. So Uh-oh. That's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. Not a problem. How bad y'all want it? <laughs> but... Uh, I do want to say, uh, you know, again, please, you know, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I'm going to wait till this right here gets uh, done, which is almost done, y'all. I'm just sitting here running my mouth. Don't make me do that. But that meat is almost to the point that it can be done and drained. And I think I'm going to go ahead and drain that water off of it. I'll All have right. Piggy uh, pause. Hand me that strainer. Okay. Piggy's going to strain this for me. There you go. Strainy, strainy. I'll go ahead and cut that eye off, keep it from vaping. And then we'll get this started. And it's not going to take very long to make this. Um, the longest it'll take is however long it takes for the noodles to cook. You might want to go ahead and pop that back in here, Piggy. I don't know why he handed me an empty container. I looked at it. Piggy beating stuff up in the background, yeah. Gotta beat it up. Okay, there's my... Put a hurting on it. Put that back on. And I'm going to put my onion in there. And I'm going to let this cook for about a minute. So, until that onion kind of gets a little bit tender. Raise it back up so they can see you pour stuff in there on top of that. Yeah. And I'm not too worried about my onions getting tender before I add everything. For the simple fact that this is going to have to cook for a little bit, those onions will cook in with the hamburger meat. Oh man, if y'all could just smell it, that smells so good. Now I'm going to go ahead and season this hamburger meat and onion before I add anything else to it. I'd like to smell that Mike cooked this morning. Oh, I'm saying, if y'all hadn't ever checked out Mike's fishing home, y'all might want to check him out. He did a... Uh, Pork tenderloin. Blackened pork and sauteed veggies and rice. Yeah, blackened pork. With a honey soy uh, drizzle topping something. Oh, man, y'all, it looked good. Y'all tell I ain't the pro, y'all. He is. Elaine is. Uh, no, I'm a cook. He's a chef. There's a difference, folks. I don't claim to be something I'm not, and I never will claim to be anything I'm not. Fair to me, you're a pro. <coughs> I am My, a Mike cook. just happens to be a pro chef. Yeah, he, he is a professional chef. I am a home cook. Sharing my recipes with everybody. Mike is a professional chef. And he can plate the food as well as he can cook it. And not only does he cook, he has uh, fishing videos. He okay. caught a 22.8 pound cat. Something like it. Yeah. Uh, Yesterday, I think it was, which that would have been Tuesday. Excuse me, folks. Pepper. Two. Maybe I can keep it at two. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to add my potatoes. 
bad thing about that video of Mike was after I got done with it, I started smelling it. Ghost smell, phantom smell. So I was like, oh man. The piggy gets stuck with my gun, uh, not gun, my goulash, y'all. This is my goulash. Shoot. Now my mama would call Ain't this. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Mama called this goulash. She also called it slum gullion. And th this is something that she has made uh, for many years. Her mama made it. And my granny would use the pork commodities. Uh, or, and if y'all don't know what that is, y'all can look it up. It's canned pork that they used to give away years ago uh, to low-income families from the government, or through the government, I should say. And uh, that stuff is good. My mama would take that stuff and she'd fry it up and skillet, put some barbecue sauce on it. We'd have barbecue. Or she would take and put it in her good lodge. Like I said, and uh, we'd have it that way. Now we'll put my tomatoes in here. And I'll add my cream corn and my beef broth here in just a second. And then my macaroni. But, uh, but this is what I grew up with as goulash. It's just a thrown together. And mom would... A lot of times, you know, if we had like leftover corn, cream corn or leftover green beans in the refrigerator or whatever, that's what she would put in. She would use her leftovers. There'd be a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And she'd put about two or three cans of the mixed veggies. Well, I don't really have any leftovers in my refrigerator right now because I, when I cook, I don't really cook a great lot. I cook enough just for me and Higgy for this broth in there. There we go. Let Piggy throw all this stuff right here. Wait for me to say. There's that spam, Piggy. Oh, we do. Okay, now I'm going to stir this all together. And I really want to bring this to a boil, but I don't have to. That's the good thing about this, because it will sit and cook, and the macaroni will cook in it as it heats up. And what I'm going to do, uh, if I can find the right one. You don't find it. Yep, half cup. I'm only going to put a half a cup of macaroni in there, because this stuff does swell. Oops, now I'm dropping it everywhere over here. Oh well, I'll take it up and throw it in there. Well, I'll take it back. I might put a cup of macaroni in there. If Mom would make a big stir like that, she'd put a cup in it. So we've got roughly a cup of macaroni. Okay. So we got a cup of macaroni in there. We're going to take and we're going to stir all that together. And I'm going to let this cook for about 25 minutes. I'll put a lid on it, let it cook for 25 minutes. We'll be back in about 25 minutes and make sure I'm going to put me a timer for 25 minutes. That thing throw that beeping at me all the time. And all them dishes and cans got cleaned up and, and taken care of. Well, y'all, I don't know what happened. There we go. I might have to clean them pans out again. Yeah, it's like it didn't want to. Or if it keeps acting up. You've had it long enough. If it keeps acting up, we might have to just get nothing. Well, I mean, it hadn't done that to me before. It's That just cut off. I might have hit the, accidentally hit that on off button. I don't know. It ain't possible. With me? Yeah. Anybody. Okay. All right, folks. We'll be back in about 25 minutes. See the finished product and taste it. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. Take the lid off. Yeah, the macaroni that's in there is done. Now, if you don't want quite as much juice in that, you can always put a little bit more macaroni. But this is my mama's goulash. 
or slum gullion, whatever you want to call it. And I'm fixing to. I call it good eating. Yeah. And, you know, you could call it soup or whatever you want to call it. But like I said, this is what my mama called goulash. And this I is, call it a full belly. And this is what I call goulash. And like I said, you can make this with hamburger meat. You can make it with venison. You can make it with chicken. You can make it with pork. You can make it with pretty much anything you want to make it with. Just whatever you have in your kitchen ready to use. And I guarantee I bet it would be really good with some venison. Grab Here we go, it. folks. Oh, yeah, you know me. If y'all hear that tinkling in the background, that's my ice maker. Uh, I'll do a product review on that one of these days. Yeah, we got tired of them steel trays that we had, and we bought us one of them countertop ice makers. Mm -hmm. Boy, I love it. Oh, yeah, y'all, this is good stuff right here. I got some cornbread in the refrigerator. I might take probably up a little bit of it in here. I'll go get it really good with this. Mmm. Well, folks, that is my goulash slash slum gullion. And if you've never made one, I hope you at least try. Like I said, if it's in your kitchen, you can use it. It don't matter. It's what you like, not what everybody else says you have to do. It's sort of like chili on a cold day. That's it. And like I said, it's a little bit chilly outside today. A little breezy. This right here going to warm me up. Y'all have a great day. Remember, don't forget to click that subscribe, red subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. And click on all. And uh, then come around on May 14th at 7 o'clock p.m. for our live. And join in for our giveaway. I say it now for my future. <laughs> you have a great day. Bye, y'all. Where my boat? Oh, I got a spray. Bye, y'all. Where am I going?